You know how this ends. You're like the rest of them. Diaz, Moretti, Hall, Taylor. I flow through your veins, slowly grasping control. But you're stronger than I anticipated. Your resistance is greater. But this only makes you all the better for my needs. Lotus stars. What happened there? You think I'll help you? After all this? What real choice do you have in the matter? You're the pawn in my game. I'm not about to hand over humanity, but I'll humor you. Fine. Let's talk about Lotus Towers. Lotus Tower was one of many megastructures in Cairo. Hakim was the self-appointed slumlord of the vertical city. That fucker was a maniac, an undead sympathizer providing Taylor with safe passage from Cairo to Zurich. Khalil and the Egyptian army joined us for the assault. If we got Taylor, we thought we had a chance. We took out Hakim's men. To get to Taylor, we first had to kill the slumlord then take the security station on the 25th floor. From there, we could locate Taylor and shut down the dead systems Hakim installed, allowing the rest of the Egyptian army to join the fight. So there we were, humanity's last hope. If we failed, we were fucked. He asks, give Deimos what he wants. Trust me, it's all going to be okay. Remember the truth. We made quick work of Hakim. I spoke to the people. This was their time. Time for the living to take back this. Khalil had a mobile shop in place. We could use it to get to the 25th floor. But first, we had to battle our way around the atrium.
once we took the security station and killed the dead system, Cairo air support could move in. Maybe we'd have a chance. Or at least give the people a chance. And then we were coming for Taylor. We were coming for you. Taylor, we were coming for you. The security station had gone under lockdown. We found a way through the air ducts ahead. Hendrix opened the path for us. The delay irritated him, but then he wasn't himself. I wonder, how did you not know what happened to him? Did you just not see it? Were you so blinded by blissful ignorance? Yeah! <laughs> 
Akeem set the deads to overheat. Egyptian army VTOLs would join the fight in a few minutes. And John Taylor? He was in a detention center on the 90th floor, just waiting. He could have left at any moment, but... I was waiting, waiting for you. Fuck you. What was it? I must know. What was in your mind that refused to fall in rank like your friends had? Even now I am without answers. Even the all-powerful and all-knowing are neither all-powerful or all-knowing. Do you know who I am? Can you comprehend what I have seen? Millions of timelines, universes where the coalescence disaster never happens, once where it occurs, but instead of opening the gateway, it gives birth to a new life form. And that's just Earth, let alone the rest of the universe. The very notion that I can achieve such greatness and not control a mortal is insulting. Hendrix was stretched thin. You'd broken him. I enlightened him, like I did you. Look at the false memories I created for you. I tried to remove your near-death experience in Ethiopia. I added myself to your memory of Ramses. I protected you from what haunted you. I wanted to make you understand my motives. Right. This war with your sister, Dolos? What's it say about you that the only way you can defeat her is by enslaving backup? Don't de mock me. Yeah! <laughs> 
And there he was. John Taylor. The last five years. Boiling down to a single moment. And you hesitated. You could have killed him right there, and you hesitated. After all these years, running from failure, and you couldn't pull the trigger. You had what you wanted right in front of you, yet you stopped. What was it? Why stop now, when you were so close? Was it compassion? Regret? No. It was Hendrix. He tried to talk Taylor down, get him to change his mind. For a moment, I saw the light return to Hendrix's eyes. I saw him. This is one of my last memories with Hendrix before... Well, before what happened. And watching Taylor walk away as Hendrix pleaded, I saw the inevitability. We weren't going to win this war. But as always, you pressed on. This was the world we made. What else were we going to do? Taylor was gunning for Tower 2. The NRC built an airfield on the roof. It was his way out of Cairo. 
the Egyptian army moved in to offer support as we moved across the sky bridge. when you entered Tower 2? Uh, another malfunction. My DNI. Listen to me. Listen to the sound of my voice. I need you to trust me. Let him win. The only way to defeat Deimos is to let him win. You are more powerful than he can imagine. You can still save them. You can still save everyone. Hendrix snapped us out of it. Tower 2 was an inferno, an abandoned robot factory crawling with malfunctioning robotics and the undead. We had to move. Hendrix snapped us out of it. Tower 2 was an inferno, an abandoned robot factory crawling with malfunctioning robotics and the undead. We had to move.
Must admit, our conversations, talking to you now, it has been quite the journey. Even now you still resist submission. I don't think I've ever met a human like you. You certainly are unique. You really gave humanity a fighting chance. By this time you knew I was baiting you, waiting for you. I had no need for Hendrix. He wasn't interesting. I wanted you. I gave him something to keep him busy. You came after me. What's it like? Looking at him for one last time. One moment he's with you. The next. We know what happens next. I was leaving Cairo. It was time to move on. But still, I linger. The right thing, you have my full attention. Your resistance, your unwillingness to yield hope. I wanted to see what you were made of. A mothership. The only way to bring it down was by taking out its thrusters. I needed something more powerful. You threw everything you could at me.
mothership crashed and pinned me on the roof. I was stuck. Trapped. I called out, but there was no one there. I've gotten over my curiosity, and now you were just a nuisance. I no longer needed my distraction. It was time to rid the world of you. And Taylor was just the vehicle to carry out my plan. You raised your hand. Tried to stop him. Tried to reason with him. But something happened. A change. He changed. What was it he said? He told me he had to get you out of his head. He'd ripped out his DNI. The very method by which you controlled us. What did he say to you? He asked me about Cain. Somehow he knew who she was. He... He told me to trust her. I don't know how he knew. And then my puppet made his entrance. Hendrix. He was infected. Like Taylor. Like me. It happened at Coalescence Singapore five years ago. When he interfaced with Diaz. I should have seen it. I should have known. You'd been possessing him since the beginning. <laughs> you humans, so focused on your beginnings and endings. It's no wonder you destroyed yourselves. So I gave you your ending. I left you there to die. Hendrix would be my vehicle of annihilation. going to Zurich to stop Hendrix to stop you to end it humanity has outstayed its welcome the dead shall inherit the earth I shall have my army to defeat Donos Malum shall be mine and all that remains is your sacrifice an offering of blood. Follow your path. Relive your final moments and change your fate to a far greater one. Your resistance was strong, but it was a matter of time before you obediently bowed before me, as the rest of your species did. Let us return to Zurich and finish this. I will.